Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel for another video. So, you guys have seen the Costco haul, but what happens after that? Where do I put it all? What do I do with it? How do I like divvy it up? We're gonna do that today. Let's go. just take the cookies and go ahead and take half of them out to freeze because we never eat them all before they go bad. So half of them are going to go in the freezer and then the other half will just go back here. And yes, I'm in pajama pants. I changed. So sorry if you don't like that. <laughs> um, then with this rosemary Parmesan bread that you guys saw me buy, I am actually going to put this into four different bags because my um, family only eats about half at a time. So I'm gonna cut it in half and put it each in a bag. They were in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air. He would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool. But it was obvious, like, ooh. Same thing with the sandwich rolls. We are actually going to divide these into two. Ooh, it would be together. And we're gonna go ahead and divide that up as well as the corn on the cob that I just kind of threw in there earlier. So what we do with the corn on the cob is freeze it, four in a bag, two, two bags of four essentially, so that we can have two meals out of it. I'm going to freeze one per freezer quart bag. That way, if we are only having one one night, then we don't have to unbox two of them. So I freeze all of the steaks individually. Yeah, I am your oars, cause I want you and I wanted you to know. As he sang, she started to dance, grabbed his arm and took his hand. He held her close under the moonlight as they kept on dancing. The last thing that I need to divide and freeze are the muffins. And again, I have two of these, so I'll leave one out and then we will freeze the others. I'm just gonna freeze them all in a gallon bag. You can actually just take these out one at a time from frozen and microwave them and they will be delicious. So I'm gonna freeze a whole pack of them in one and then we can just grab one out as we need it. And I think that's all that I need to like divide up to freeze, but that's obviously not all that I need to do if you saw that haul. So I'm gonna show you guys what I need to throw in the freezer now. Here's my pile of everything that needs to go into the freezer, the corn, the steaks, muffins, cookies, and then all of the different breads. The good thing about the chicken is that it's already pre um, packaged like in two chicken breasts per package. So I don't have to divide that up, which I'm very thankful for. So we're gonna get all of this in the freezer and then move on to fruit. Okay, 
So you guys know that I like to pre-wash fruit and just throw it into Tupperware containers. It makes for a cleaner fridge and it makes for easier finding. So I'm gonna wash the blueberries, throw them in here. I just leave them in their same container and wash them. Like I don't get a, I mean, they, they have slotted containers for a reason, I think. Okay, so once that is all washed, we are just going to, I don't know that they're all gonna fit in here. I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully they do. And then Kylie and Finley both love blueberries, so this would be wonderful for them to have. So they didn't all fit, but I will give them these ones for dinner with their dinner tonight. So that way I don't have to get another Tupperware container. So that is the blueberries down. We're gonna do the same thing with the strawberries, except this time we're actually gonna cut them up. As he sang, she started to dance, grabbed his arm and took his hand. He held her close under the moon. I got all the strawberries cut up and in a container. And then I was gonna do the grapes, Oh, I think she wants a strawberry. Here, a blueberry? There you go. I was gonna do the grapes as well, but they're already in this pretty neat little container. So I think what I'll do is just wash them and then throw them back in the fridge. I am gonna wash out the apples and put them individually in the fruit drawer, along with open up the mandarin oranges and throw them in the fruit drawer as well. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna wash these. I think I'm just gonna throw them in there and then we can wash them when we eat them. Thank you. So now we have a drawer full of fruit you can see right there. And I am gonna open up this as well. This is that A2 milk and get all of the cartons in there one by one but we are gonna go ahead and put away the fruit that we have organized. Okay. So that's what this carton looks like. It's similar to the other one. It's still a half gallon. So hopefully it will taste as good. So we're gonna get these put back in, my shirt got caught in my drawer, back in the fridge. And then we're gonna look at the pantry. We have some stuff to open up in there and kind of figure out where we wanna put it and all that. But the refrigerator is looking much more organized already. Okay, so in the pantry, I just have a few things that I have to like kind of organize since we got it. So I'm gonna take some of this pirate smoothie that I showed you guys and shove as much of them as I can in the snack bucket just so that the kids will be able to see them and hopefully that means they will eat them. In the other snack bucket, after I put away these pirate booties, In the other snack bucket, I'm gonna open up the box of Ritz crackers and just throw a bunch of them in there for Chris. That way, they will be easy for him to grab when he needs them. And then I'm also gonna take some of these Annie's fruit sticks and throw them in there. They will mostly be for Friendly. The other kids tried them earlier and did not like them. So just gonna throw a few in there so that I remember to give them to Finley. Okay, now I'm just gonna kinda show you where I put everything else in the pantry um, and 
give you a look at what the freezers look like now as well since we have filled them back up after our video on Wednesday. Okay, so I put both the Sprite and the Dr. Pepper down on the floor as well as the alkaline water. And then you guys just saw me fill up these containers. And then we have a bunch of storage stuff up there. So the rest of those, goldfish, muffins, that popcorn, and the rest of the Pirate's Booty, and then that M&Ms that you guys saw me buy. Those are the chips that you saw me buy. And then on this shelf, I just put all of the uh, marinara sauces, the Alfredo sauce, that kind of thing. And then this is new. So this top shelf is now food storage, obviously. So I have both boxes of coffee, the rest of the Ritz crackers, a few of the bags of chips, and then I threw those um, hash brown potatoes up there and that organic pasta that we bought, which I am very excited to try, by the way. So that is where I put, oh, and I threw those mandarin oranges right there so that they would be front and center for me to see. So that is where I put all of the pantry food. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this indoor freezer looks like now. So most of the bread and, and the corn and the steak and all that that you saw me um, divvy up earlier in this video is now in here, as well as a couple of the bags of cheese. So I took one of the Mexican and one of the cheddar that you saw earlier or saw in the Costco haul and threw them in here. And then in the fridge, like you saw earlier, I just put the apples and oranges down there. And then the rest of the fruit and stuff is right there. Lettuce, all of that. And then all three milks are lined up there. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the outdoor freezer looks like as well. And then I think we'll be done. Okay, so now the outdoor freezer is packed, as you guys can see, but like I mentioned, we're not gonna be going for a few months. So all of that chicken that I bought earlier today, the burgers, the burritos, all of that is down in there now, and hopefully we are good to go. I did add just some of the stuff that I knew that we had gotten, we don't need a knife there, the steaks, the hamburgers times two, chicken tacos times two, and then I had already added the mozzarella, gnocchi and all of that stuff. So I'm trying, I'm going to go through and add these meals to it. And then we should be good on meals. Like I said, through the end of August. As for the toilet paper and the baby wipes and the diapers, we put that all in our master closet. So if you've seen my home tour, you know that our master closet or master bedroom is downstairs. Um, so that's very easily accessible. So we have a pretty big master closet and we just have a corner that is all of that type of thing, paper towels, toilet paper, diapers, wipes, all of that. So all of that is in there. And that's pretty much what we did with it all. I'm very happy with all of the organization that I did to prepare for this and how I did it afterwards so that hopefully it will be functional over the next month, a little less than two months before we go again. Um, so yeah, I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I actually did with all the stuff from Costco. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video on Wednesday, which will be a fun one, of course, again. Um, until then guys, have a fantastic evening. Bye. The one day she said, Write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful